Holy crap. That looks, that looks pretty good. I'm out of battery life though. Okay, so I got the drone and I got the lights rigged up, sort of. This is actually what I had made. Check this out. So this piece of metal is actually, let me come to this side. Don't focus on my face. This piece of metal is actually from like a utility shelf that connects the like upper and lower uh, sections of the shelf. That's what this is. And then I just zip tied the lights to the bottom of it. And I'm gonna have the drone holding it basically like this. Hopefully it's not too heavy because this, this is actually metal. And then the lights are light, like I had said before, but they're, I mean, they're still made of aluminum. So I think I'm just gonna have it, have the drone carrying it basically basically like that somehow. <laughs> it, it could work, it might not work, it might be way too heavy for it, but I'm gonna find out. If you've never been to this channel, my name's Aaron Sill, this is Sill Photography, not still photography, Sill Photography. And what I'm trying today is to remake this shot, but do it on a budget. I'm sure that was done with like a very good drone and probably the DJI kit that you can actually purchase that you add lights onto the drone. They almost look like friction arms actually made for the DJI, I think it's the Mavic Air maybe, but it's actually like a rig that you put on the drone that will make it so you can attach lights to it and then make these kind of images. So my goal is to do it as cheap as possible, but still with a good drone because you gotta have a good drone to do this. So the drone I'm using is the DJI Mavic Mini 2. And then those two lights were $2 each at Walmart and that little shelving piece I just had laying around the house and zip ties are like cheap, like super cheap. So that's what I'm doing today. Never done this type of shot before. So we're gonna see if it turns out decent. Might be a total, might be a total crap shoot, but trying something new, I've never done something like this. So I just wanted to give it a shot. Let you know if it's super easy to do. And if it is, maybe somebody else could try it out too. The camera I'm gonna be using is the Sony a7 III with the 35 millimeter F1.4 Samyang lens. That's the widest I have, so that might also be an issue because I don't know if 35 is actually gonna be wide enough. I'm gonna have to get really far back, I know that, if I wanna get a lot of the sky, well, not really the sky, but just a lot of room for the drone in the shot. So yeah, 35 might not be wide enough, but we're gonna, we're gonna try it out. If it, if it isn't wide enough, I'm gonna back up. <laughs> Got everything ready, just gotta wait for the sun to go down. We'll be right back when it's dark. I got a report about uh, what just happened this morning. Total failure, total failure. So I, I had said before that the whole, like what I needed to do was make sure that the lights were going. Yeah, that doesn't, that's not. No, I think I need a light going straight down. That's the only way I'm gonna be able to see. I think that's the only way the light's gonna be seen the whole time. And these two lights are not bright enough. Like I had said, I thought this would be perfect. No, it's not bright enough, not even close. So I'm gonna have to go back to the original. Stupid bright, They. I feel like these are too bright, but I'm gonna have to try it. The new setup is just gonna be basically, I don't even know, probably just a zip tie going through that loop. Hopefully it stays on and just gotta try that out. <laughs> Total failure, but I'm not done. I'm gonna make it happen. The shot, I mean, I can show you the shot that I got. It's this right, it's not didn't work. The whole motion of the drone too was kind of off. So I think I'm gonna have to really step back on the shot just in order to like actually get the whole loop around because it actually went behind the camera. So obviously that's not gonna work, especially with the 35 millimeter lens, it's just not enough. So so another issue that I ran into while I was doing this was because of that gigantic, because this was underneath the drone, it was like, I mean, this is like almost the same length as the drone itself. So when it was under it, the sensors that are underneath the drone actually sensed this so when I like went to lower the drone and bring it closer to the ground, it actually thought that it was landing. So it decided to try to land every time I went down. So that was another problem that I had to figure out. The way I figured that out was just to like barely touch it. So it like just very slightly went down. It took a lot longer to bring it down to the ground, but that's the only way I could do it without it trying to land. Okay, so my next setup, one zip tie, got one zip tie and flip it over, turn it on and then have the light. Next setup, I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it out. All right, round two. What is happening? All right, so it's like four in the morning right now. Got the drone ready. I'm in my location. I just gotta get the drone all set up and then attempt these shots. So hopefully they hopefully they work. It's gonna be sick if it actually does work. If it doesn't work tonight, I guess this will be like a an ongoing series of me chasing this shot.
situation right now is the first attempt I had the parking lights on on the on my truck I think I'm gonna turn those off and then I'm going to run with this light that's using that I'm using to light my face right now which is like a utility light I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna do two separate shots and I'm going to overlay them one's gonna be lit with the utility light I'm gonna light the truck so you can see the truck and then the other one's gonna be the drone doing its thing as long as I get that drone shot let's get these attempts going I better make sure the camera's actually ready to roll too all righty we are gonna find out if this works Oh my god, it worked. Guys, look at this. Look at that. It freaking worked. I think my battle now is going to be battery life. So an issue I'm having is still having the light in the frame. I don't think this lens is actually wide enough. I don't think I'll be able to do it with this lens. Yep, now battery life's dying. I'm not done yet. This is a tough one to do. It's hard to get the it's hard to get the light to be in the in the shot the whole time, plus do the whole motion. Now the camera has pre-programmed motions, but none of them are gonna do what I needed to do. It's doing that thing again where it thinks it wants to land every time I go down. Yeah, those sensors are uh, they're picking up the that light. Rough. It's trying to land right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to go down. It's too high up. Holy crap! That looks that looks pretty good. I'm out of battery life though. Like, that's not the shot that I wanted, but it looks okay. Jeez. <laughs> Stop. I did not get the exact shot I wanted, but I got something pretty sweet. I, okay, so I, I did not get the shot that I thought I, I would be able to get. It's doable. I know now that I can definitely get it. It's just gonna, I'm probably gonna go through three batteries on the drone just to get this shot. But check out the shot that I got. Sick, right? I mean, I've never got it before. I've done long exposure and I know how the light trails work and everything, but I've never got this type of shot. And I've never tried anything other than flying a drone and getting shots with the drone. So like trying this was like super fun and super different. I've never definitely stepped out of my comfort zone and I'm not done because that was, you know when you like do something and then you're like, I could do something like this this way and it would make it like this. <laughs> that made sense. That just went through my head. So I have other ideas on this too. I definitely don't wanna use my truck because who cares? It's just an F-150, it's just a freaking truck. But definitely, definitely I'm not done. This was a super fun experience. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you liked it enough, consider subscribing. I'm new on YouTube. Follow along on my YouTube journey. Stay tuned for next Friday's video. I will be reviewing a Sony lens from a Canon user's perspective. Because I came over to Sony from Canon. I actually came from the Canon R5 over to the Sony a7 III. Crazy, right? Thank you guys for watching. Now it's time to head to the gym. Getting back on that grind. <laughs>